In step three, we will select the experimental designs to be used. You may have to select up to three different designs. One for any controllable process factors, plus any noise factors if you're doing a combined robust parameter design. A second design for any controllable mixture components, and potentially a third design for noise factors if you're doing a Taguchi style crossed RPD. To select an experimental design, I'll now push the button labeled Step 3. This will bring up a dialog box with an options button for each type of factor that I have. Since I only have process factors, I'll only need to select one design. If I press the options button, a multi-level factorial design options dialog box will come up. Materials, since it's categorical, A, B, and C, is fixed at three levels. I also get to set the number of levels for the continuous factors. I think I'll pick three levels of temperature, three levels of time, and three levels of pressure. That gives me a total of three times three times three times three different combinations of the factors that I could potentially run, which is a total of 81 runs. I could also replicate these 81 runs if I added one replicate for each, that'd be a total of 162 runs. There's a checkbox by which I can indicate whether or not I wish to randomize the order of the designs, <coughs> order the runs within the design, which is usually a good idea. I'll go ahead now, press OK, and in the data sheet in the dialog box, you'll now see the 81 runs, which are different combinations of the levels of those four factors. A couple more things to do. Up in the upper right hand corner of the dialog box, you'll see a couple radio buttons, one labeled combined array, another crossed array. They're grayed out in this case because I don't have any noise factors. This would only apply if I had selected both process factors and noise factors to study. There's also one edit field labeled samples per run. Here I specify how many samples I'm going to collect every time I do an experiment. I've decided to collect 30 samples per run. And from those 30 samples on each run, I'll have the program calculate the average and the standard deviation. When I'm satisfied with my experiment, I'll press OK and the program will summarize for me in the main DOE window what the design is. You'll notice it says here in step three, I've selected a factorial design, no center points. Um, the design is randomized, yes, it has 81 runs in a single block. There are also 63 degrees of freedom available to estimate the experimental error. At the same time, if I go and click on the data book up at the top of the navigation bar, I can see that the design, the 81 runs for the design, have been placed into data sheet A. At the same time, data sheet B, which is now labeled strength, has been filled in with 30 columns into which the 30 samples will be typed every time I do an experimental run. The program will then take those 30 samples and as you can see out to the far right hand side of the data sheet A, there are columns where it will place the mean and the standard deviation of each set of 30 runs.